Hello, my name is Spider. Welcome to the simulation. Hi, Trollstars, how are you? Uh, we still have a giveaway, guys, from yesterday. You want random steam code, the usual, you guys know. And switch point enter in the chat to enter. Or a chance to win a random steam code. I'm early again today because, once again, I don't have a lot of time to stream. I have an alarm on my phone. But we're gonna get, we're gonna squeeze in as much Sims as possible. <laughs> That's the plan. All right, let's just hop hop into the family. So we're going to play Bjorn and Mimi right now. And what's that? What? Who's that? Who's that boy? Who's that boy? What's his name? I don't remember. Who's that dog? The volume slow? Oh, okay. Hold on. Of my voice, or just in general? Hold on, I changed something. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me see where that thing is. Where's that thing? Maybe it was this thing? Is this better? Is this better? Hello? Do I talk louder? <laughs> Maybe I'm talking too low. I'm a little tired, I can't lie. <laughs> Is that better? Oh, okay, good. Because I changed the setting. Uh, I, I can't with OBS. I'm just terrible at it. Alright, this is Eddie. Eddie. Oh yeah, Paul and Eddie. R.I.P. Paul. R.I.P. Paul. Alright, everyone go to bed. Okay, so we're gonna do taxes. Um, let me get my tax thing up. Okay, so let's calculate. I got my calculator in my hand. Okay, ninety-two, two oh six. Plus, they have one fifty-seven, nine nine eight. Okay, so two hundred fifty. They might be the richest, so far they might be the richest sims that we calculated. <clears throat> okay, so. No one's retired, right? No, I think both of them, yeah, they're both like, yeah, fortune and knowledge in me. I don't think they're going to want to retire. Okay, so. 5%. Okay, so 5% because they're worth over 100k. Uh, zero. Five. Okay, twelve thousand deductions. Home ownership a thousand. Married couple. I'm pretty positive they're married. Yeah, they're married. Fifteen hundred. Each dependent. Okay, they have one dependent. Uh, adoption and local business. They don't have a business. Okay, so nine thousand. Yeah, let me write that. Oh, that's a lot. It's almost 10,000. All right, when they wake up, we'll pay. 9,500. Actually, Mars had to pay 10,800, so. Okay. Let's see, what's going on today? Mimi has work, Bjorn has work, Eddie has school. Okay, so we got a busy day ahead of us. Oh shoot, they overslept my bad. That was my bad. I was uh, too busy having fun calculating taxes and doing math. I'll just take a shower. You can use the toilet at school. <laughs> oh yeah, what's the dog's name? Duncan. Aw, Duncan. There he is. Thanks for letting me know about the sound, by the way. I appreciate when people let me know. Um, yeah, so it's we're on rotation 16. It's the spring. Let's make sure it's the beginning of the spring for them. We're going to be playing them for four days. Where's that season thing? Oh, oh yeah, I always forget. 
Okay, it's the spring. Okay. okay here's the school bus. Does he go? 2 p.m. Oh, okay. He has the whole warning to just chill out. Okay, so let me Four shot. finish writing them in the notebook because I did not even do that yet. Usually, I was running around. Usually, when I'm in the starting soon screen, I get this stuff ready. But I forgot. I was like, I want, I want to hurry up and start press starting, start streaming. But then I was like, I didn't even make my coffee or anything. So it's still, it's cooking. It's Brewing. Okay, so no notes from last time for them. I kept like. <laughs> okay, does the dog have food? Nope. Okay, Bjorn needs to get his social up. How's Duncan doing? Duncan's doing great. Yeah, there's Mimi's carpool already. Okay, so while Bjorn is just chilling on the phone, we're gonna we're going to figure out their hobbies. Cause this round is the first round I'm doing taxes and I'm gonna do hobbies. Also, I think I'm gonna next round I'm going to up their bills. I think I'm gonna use a mod to make their bills more expensive. And then I'll do taxes every other rotation. Let's call his brother. Let's talk. Okay, so... It's Hoppy's fitness. Okay, so let's see. Fitness. Swimming, skating, lifting. Cardio yoga. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's roll to see what his hobby is. Bello mondo, come to the oil. Hmm. Ah, sono le tenapu. Random number. Huh? One through five. Three. Okay, so three is lifting. Milano. Oh my. So I think that they might already have something for that. Oh no, they don't. Jane Dogo. They got a lot of stuff. Lifting. Can I squeeze something up here? Maybe in this room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I guess any of these machines, right? Okay. Let me write that down on the chart. Oh, voice crack. Oh. Bjorn. Lifting. Okay, uh -huh. now Mimi uh -huh. is Voila. fourth. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, ah. only three for sports. Can I saw you? Ah, came out one ta. Number two. Basketball. Huh? We could fit basketball. Is basketball an outdoor thing? Outside. Yep. No, yep. Write that down real quick. Basketball. I don't think she's. To be honest, I th they're pretty old. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be playing too many sports. But you know, it's fun to have the activities. Okay, and science. Eddie is science. Science, science. Stargazing, weather, about Okay, well, so this is the perfect house for science. They have literally all the science activities at his fingertips. One, two, three. Cornwall. 
Okay, it's two. So the weather. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Okay, uh... Weather. So, what does that mean? Watching the weather channel. Ah. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. Some people really are into the weather. Yeah, they have all these machines. I also, maybe I want to say also that he likes to look at uh, the telescope to look at the clouds. I don't know. I know he's not, I know it's dark Asian, but still. I'm trying to look at all these machines. I'm like, is there any weather things in here? It's a lot of weird things, but. Are they friends again? Yeah, good. Okay, so we caught up on all the new things already. And then Eddie is a knowledge sim. He's going to be going to university not this round, eventually. We could apply for scholarships, though. Let's see. Hmm. What level is he in his job? Five? Okay, might as well. Get this friend thing for work. Okay. Cool. Everyone loves that drum set. <laughs> Everyone's obsessed with it. I feel like they're just thinking more of the hobbies that I uh, just assigned them. They're just gonna want to play the drums all the time. <laughs> Oh, Eddie should be home. Uh, a co-worker selling ballet tickets. Oh, yeah, the ballet ticket one. Mm, I, th I always just say accept the price. Uh, Mimi doesn't want to approach her co-worker instead of glumly stews over the situation. Her frustration peaks at the end of the day when she makes an off-color comment about the trustworthiness of her co-worker. Her boss hears it and finds her for inappropriate workplace behavior. Okay. I got some deals. Let's see down there. Yeah, there's a road down there now. I was gonna try to put this lot, the person who made this map, they made lots. And there was one that's supposed to go here, but I couldn't squeeze it in because of these like debris. But I didn't want to get rid of it also, you know? I don't know. I wonder if there's a way to force like a lot. Oh, college. Yeah, let's see if he can apply for scholarships. And we'll pay those bills and then we'll do his homework. And then maybe we'll uh, watch the weather channel. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, the phone. Oh, wait, that was me. I literally just wasn't called to college. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, right. That was me. It's a custom Strange Town. This is Strange Town, but I added more stuff to it. I wonder if I have the link. Basically, what someone did was... Okay, yeah, he did get a scholarship. Um... Somebody made a map that combines like different strange towns from like the spin off games. You see, there's like new streets, and then there's a way you can add it to an existing strange town. So that's what I did. I added, I like overlapped the maps, and so I added these streets, and I moved some of the houses off the main road, and I put them in little neighborhoods. That's also a new thing this round. Okay, pay bills, and then do your homework. Let me see if I can find a link to it. Uh... Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, here. Oop. So it's the Game Boy Advance, DS, and PSP uh, all combined with the PC one. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Don't don't do your homework yet. <laughs> Answer the phone. It was just getting really crowded on that main road. Uh, no, he's at work. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I didn't even realize there's a way to like overlap a map to an existing map, and that's really cool. And I was so happy I was able to do that. Okay, yeah, do your homework. You know what? I know something that's fun that he can... He can watch the weather channel. Also, I left the fridge open! That's not good. Oh, uh, is this the first time he's ever cooking? Oh boy. <laughs> Who left the fridge open? Didn't play too much Strange Town back in the day, but... Back in my mind, when watching your gameplay, I was like, something's different. Yeah, I, I totally forgot to tell you guys I added this stuff. I forgot to say this. See, there's, like, little neighborhoods back there. I tried to put, like, bigger houses in a little neighborhood together. And, like, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. It's more spread out. It's more like a desert, you know. Mimi brought home a friend. Hello, friend. Blossom. <laughs> Your friend wants to talk to you. Take your pods out. Okay, here. Good luck. He got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Sometimes you could just tell when a sim is going to burn their first mac and cheese, you know, or set it on fire. Uh, logic and creativity. Okay. So she does not creativity. Okay, so let's make... Let, let her play the drums if she wants to do that anyway. Get her creativity up. He needs to get his fun up. So we can watch the weather channel. <laughs> Does the dog have food? Yes, okay. Rakula Bizan to pull Zip Masula Kiba. That sounds fun. A Bjorn. It's home at eight. Okay, that's not too late. Weather, weather. Oh shoot, he just turned nice, see? The only thing I don't like about the weather channel is are these pop-ups, which I'm sure there's like a mod or something I could get to stop them. I don't mind them, I just wish they didn't show up so often. I wish they only showed up like once or twice a day. Okay, so after she gets that point, she needs logic. Done. Let's put the food away. Logic. Okay, so I guess she could look out a telescope? If I could find the telescope? Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I'm just writing stuff in my notebook. Oh, you scared me. I gotta lower it more. I did the cheat to lower the. Oh, look, he got a promotion. Maybe it was that friend perk we got him. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you might retire. I don't know. I feel like I might have him retire. I don't even think he's that passionate about music. I honestly don't know why he's in the music career. Hi, Phineas. Ah. Oh, look, she almost had the point. Him and the dog are like best friends. They are best friends. Oh, huh? What? Let's do something to get his mood up, too. You discovered a previously unknown star. SimCity Astronomy Club rewarded you 500 simoleons on your find. Nice. Nice, you got the point. Oh, look, a promotion wants a promotion. Perfect. I think she'll get it. Alright, so I'm getting ready for bed. Clean that. Say goodbye. Oh. Is this all clean there? Okay, so that's day one. I would write on my notebook, but somebody's sitting on it. Somebody who I'm not going to say their name. Dang it, he stood up. You know what I'm talking about him. It's Phineas. <laughs> Phineas, let me write in the notebook. Mwah. I think he got his, like, winter coat early. He's so fluffy all of a sudden. <laughs> He's so fluffy. That's how- cats do that, right? They, like, have, like, a winter and, like, a summer coat. He's, like, so fluffy all of a sudden. Here, come sit down, bud. Okay, I'll- on my notebook, I guess. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'll accept it. All right, here. Let's save for the night. <laughs> just put in my face in my face. He wants, he wants kisses. Sorry, sorry, bud. I'm very busy with something very important. I have to write in my notebook. Okay, done. No wait. Yeah, got it. Okay. My cat already has at least three times the amount of fur. Okay, yeah, I thought it was crazy. I was like, I feel like all of a sudden he got really fluffy. And then I heard someone say the phrase, like, winter coat about a cat. So I'm like, that makes sense. Yeah, ready for the winter. <laughs> Corn has the day off. Okay, so, yeah, you gay? heck is going on out here oh no donkey got sprayed by the skunk oh i'll flip during summer she's always skinny with fur and soon as fall comes she gets puffy oh okay what are you doing who has off bjorn has off right Bjorn, give, give Duncan a bath. <laughs> there we go. Speaking of bath, why is this bathtub filled up? Maybe if someone uses it, it'll fix itself? I don't know. really have any like really high skills for like another scholarship. Yeah, let me 
Mr. Gotti's examiner. <laughs> that dog's like, you're stinky. You are stinky, Duncan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half time. Get up, Poncho. Hello, Sonic. Kate. So Eddie, let's see what's going on with Eddie here. Relationship-wise, I mean. I mean, he's a little, he's kind of attracted to Melissa. Maybe we'll go to the teen arcade tonight with him and we'll see if we can meet anybody. Yeah, that sounds fun. I think we'll do that. Uh, what happened to the bath? <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm trying so hard not to encourage him to sit in front of me while I play games. But I can't help it, he's so cute. I just have to give him a hug and say he's handsome. I can't help it. I'm trying really hard not to encourage it. He knows he could get attention from me when I stream and play video games. When he sits in front of me. to be a werewolf. <laughs> okay. What was her hobby again? Basketball? Honestly, she does need creativity for her job. She's maxed out in body. Oh. She is really sporty. Debating on if I should have Bjorn retire. It's kind of weird that he's a roadie. <laughs> Isn't that weird? He seems like he should be. I guess I, I don't know. I could kind of see it actually. Uh -huh. I don't know. I feel like he's more chill, you know? I don't know. Like, nerdy. Like. But you know, maybe I have him all wrong. Maybe he's like a rocker dude, oh. you know? Yeah, maybe that's why all the girls liked him when he was a teenager. I always, I always got nerve from him, but maybe he's like cool rocker guy. <laughs> a little edge, you know, a little edge. <laughs> With those bangs. Alright, she's off to work. Uh, what should we do with Bjorn today? Fix this tree, first of all. Hmm. Work is good. Oh, he wants to max out a skill. Okay, that's like his ultimate goal. Well, he only has one away from mechanical, so let's work on that. That seems fun. Well, for him. <laughs> Maybe not for us. Maybe reading mechanical books all day is not uh, the funnest thing in the world. But to him, he's a knowledge set. He likes that kind of thing. <laughs> At least to me, I would... I wouldn't understand anything. I've been on my reading. 
Okay, study mechanical. After he's done with this tree. <laughs> I love when the big dogs sit on the beds like this. <laughs> A briz. I'm froseal. What is that word? I don't ever heard of it. Oh, it's healthy now. Froseal. I don't know anything about trees. Alright, let's see if we can get that last point. Am ambrosia? Let's see. A M B R O S I A L. Kind of common in Europe. Is it a tree thing? I'll fast forward while he's reading. While in science lab, Eddie receives an opportunity to pick a partner for a laboratory assignment. Eddie can pick his buddy, who isn't that bright, <laughs> or pick the smartest student in class. A ask your friend! Not far into the lab work, his buddy makes a call on his cell phone. Abruptly, his buddy says there's an emergency and tells Eddie to finish the lab work for both of them. Eddie loses some science enthusiasm from the stunt his buddy just pulled on him. Aww. Hi, Nemertis, how are you? I thought ambrosia was a food. <laughs> oh, wait, Eddie's home already. That was fast. No, oh, you don't have to go all the way upstairs. Just drop it, drop it. Invasive weed. Oh, a Sims 3 food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Not so much a tree. Is it like a. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a dessert. I've eaten it before, I think. I'm pretty sure I've eaten it before. What's this one? A M B R O S I A L. Yeah, what does that mean? Exceptionally pleasing to taste or smell, delicious or fragrant. Oh, so it's just like a really delicious lemon that grows from this tree. Mm. Oh, it's also a kind of apple? Mm. I'm Googling that right now, I want to see. <laughs> what color? What color? Oh, it's like a it's like a yellow and red one. I'd eat that. Actually, I don't know. There's no apple that I wouldn't eat. <laughs> I'd try it. Okay, let's get eat some food. Actually, I'm gonna have him serve lunch. I want his skills to go up. So many things with similar things. Yeah, right. Maybe it, it is an interesting word. Maybe I would name a lot of things after it. <laughs> Maybe it just means like super delicious. Oh, and that's why they name a lot of foods after it. Oh. Wait, I'm, I think I'm onto something here. Ancient Greek myths, ambrosia is the food or drink of the Greek gods. Oh, see guys, see? Depicted as conferring lovingly longevity or immortality upon whoever consumes it. Oh, that's why in The Sims 3 it makes you, uh, doesn't it make you immortal in The Sims 3? Oh yeah, Greek mythology, nectar food of the gods. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like, I feel, I feel my brain expanding. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting smarter already. Here, come eat the sandwich. It revives ghosts. Oh yeah, that's what it does. I remember I remember making it in The Sims 3 for some reason. I did it on stream actually a couple of years ago. 
Oh yeah, because our sim, I think Nervous married a ghost and then they had like a ghost kid. And then the, the ghost mom, I think, was like a gardener. So we, we ended up making all the fruits necessary to make an ambrosias. And then we made it, and then we made the daughter into a, like a not ghost, like a like a sim, <laughs> an alive sim. <laughs> Is it, there's an invasive weed? <laughs> Maybe it tastes good. <laughs> fun. Okay, let's get your fun up. I'm gonna have Bjorn. Make a phone call to get his soul. No, I actually, I'm gonna have him watch TV with his son. Let's get his fun up. You know what? What other channels on cutting it? Let's just go to the dance channel. <laughs> Make his fun go up faster. Okay. It's ragweed. Oh. I'm gonna step on my phone. So the sound stop, 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 stopping. Ragweed and mold are in the air. Oh, it's like an allergen thing. It like triggers people's allergies. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it has a lot of pollen. I see that. Oh. I see, I see. Bjorn rather get his social from the dog. <laughs> so fun. Ah, architect level nine. Master architect. Oh my gosh, you know what that reminds me of? You know what I was thinking about? The Lego movie. I was just thinking about that yesterday. Dang. She hit that money goal she wanted. Oh, she's about to woohoo. Okay. A little celebratory woohoo. <laughs> Don't go upstairs, uh, Eddie. Where's his homework, though? Is it up here? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Love, love, love. Okay. <laughs> I'll have her answer the phone when she's done, and he needs to, someone needs to put those sandwiches away before they go back. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have him work on that maximizing that mechanical skill. Come on, guys, get to it. <laughs> Someone's calling on the phone. Guys. <laughs> you know what? I think Eddie's gonna finish before them. He's gonna finish his homework. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? Just, just, just get the phone. Just get the phone. <laughs> Finish later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's available. <laughs> Nothing helped in it. I hear them upstairs. <laughs> Imagine Bigfoot calling you, right? <laughs> yeah, she's a little busy right now, but... <laughs> yep, that was a woohoo. Oh, she made Bigfoot waited this whole time. Oh, 
Oh yeah, did you finish your homework? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, uh... Just chill, I guess. Oh, does the dog have food? Yes, okay. Here, read. Pet mechanical. Let's see. Oh gosh, she needs three logic points and two creativity points. Oof. Well, I guess she decided to work on that creativity. I was going to tell her to look out the telescope, but... I forgot we were going to go to the teen arcade. Oh, oopsie, my bad. Tomorrow. You know what I'm gonna do though? I will call someone on the phone. Let's see. Let's give someone. Let's chat with someone. Is she still on the phone? No. All right. Oh, does she's on the drums? I knew that. I think he's going to. Does he have work tomorrow? Oh, he does. Okay. That last one's always so hard to get. <laughs> Unless if they have that like uh, knowledge sim perk that makes it go fast. I'm not really sure what triggers that. I don't know if it's random. Um. Okay. So she, he's most attracted to Melissa. You know, just chat a little bit, you know? Just chat. See how it goes. Okay. It's gonna be a while. That's a lot of points she needs. That's a lot. Okay. Two. I should probably not write that before I save. Oh, we didn't save yet. Yeah, here, I'm gonna save for the night. I'm gonna save a little early because she got that promotion. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> okay, day two. We're halfway done with this family. Okay. Shakun. Excuse me. Wrong bed. <laughs> oh, that song stuck in my head from the living room. <laughs> Everything is awesome. I want to rewatch that movie. I guess I'll have the movie theater. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Let's see. Everybody's busy today. He wants to go steady with who? Just in general? He really wants a, a girlfriend? He's only attracted to girls. He wants a girlfriend. All right, we got you, Eddie. We're going to the teen arcade. How would that phone call go, by the way? It doesn't, doesn't look like it went great. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, come back. Mr. Mechanical over here. Go fix that toilet.
I don't know if uh, unclogging toilets actually helps with the mechanical skill, but I think if I had to guess, it helped the mechanical skill helps it go faster or more smoothly. Is this how unclogged it is? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Ron, get your breakfast. Guess what? Push up. We're gonna pictures. Paul's not in any pictures. Oh, I think Paul died before this photo. That's why. R.I.P. Paul. Okay, someone needs to spray this before work. We will get lemons. We will get lemons eventually. I keep going here to see what time she has work. I keep forgetting to process what I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> Can I add more food to this too? Sickly. I'm so bad at taking care of these. If I don't have a sim that's like uh like a gardener that like gardens every day i just can't keep up with the trees <laughs> make a friend at school okay so we she could keep working on those skills i feel like she should work on logic there's got to be something in here that's logic right Maybe try Sun and Moon Garden if you're not very good at taking care of them. Is that a mod? If I if my if my sim has a big garden and I take care of it every day and it's part of the routine, it's good. But also I always I wonder too if maybe I just it has something to do with story the story progression mod I have. Like they just never seem to produce fruit. And I don't know if it's because of that time mod that comes with story progression. You still need to tend to water them, but it's less finicky than the Maxis Garden. Oh, okay. Here, let me pump up. Keep. I love that website. I love browse. I love working that website. <laughs> Here, let me write that down. Sun and moon. Dog's home alone. He needs to be attended. Oh, he got 225. For what? The spelling bee? Okay, I'll try to remember to put that in the bank. Oh, thank you. I was devastated when the pump up keep was down for like week. I thought it was gone for good. I was heartbroken. <laughs> ah, he did bring a friend. Oh, he's a tiny bit attractive too. Oh my gosh, it's uh... It's Crystal Moonbeam, who is his mom's co-worker's daughter. <laughs> it's her daughter, see? Blossom's daughter. Her adopted daughter. Excuse me. <laughs> There's the apple a day, 
bold to boldly grow. There's one with spices too. Ah. First kiss. Oh my gosh, go away. Dog, no. Ah. His dream came true. We didn't have to do anything. I think his mom hooked him up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> his mom set him up. Okay. Okay. The dog's a bit confused. <laughs> Go away. Go lay on, relax on the bed. Look at them all flirty. I don't think through them. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Hey, Gozi. Yeah, Bolo. I choke her. Wow, that was easy. I said, go get a friend. He found a girlfriend. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. That's all I got to do. Okay. He needs to get... Uh, I'm going to have him... You know, I just want them to go on a date. I just want to... I'm just going to go for the date. Crystal, Crystal. I have to remember to put her in the chart. Oh. Studio musician. Level seven. Is that a friend too? Here, tend that tree. Let's get the mail. You're thinking about getting sun and moon mods. There are also some really nice add ons like toddler treats. You can make foods for toddlers from berries and berry bushes. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's. Oh. Here, pay the bills. Okay, uh, he just needs one charisma. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Okay, what's going on with these two? Uh, Oh shoot, his car pulls right here? Oh no, that's uh, Mimi. Oh look, everyone brought a friend home today. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, we got 7,000. Oh yeah, I forgot. Eddie needs to put 200 in his bank account. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Make out already? That was fast. Yeah, I'm gonna have her cook some food for everybody. There's a lot of people here. Let's make burgers. Yeah. 
They both want it. Oh, don't don't shoot her. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate. Don't be off the fence. Let's do the mole. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going down the stairs? Where are they? Oh, over here. I didn't even know there was a little area over here. Oh, it's kind of cute, this little area. I've never noticed this before. I can't make out yet. We will get that ghost study. Let's see. Eat it. No, we're not gonna go eat out. Come on. Here it is. Make out. There we go. Bam. <laughs> she making those burgers? No, wait. She's. No, you're supposed to be cooking. It can be more. We'll cook. Oh, his cooking skills are abysmal. Burgers, please. It's a dream day. Okay, so can we get the ghost study? Ooh. We can. Okay, so let's check this off the dream date. No, 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 no. Let's propose ghost study. Okay. See, he got a girlfriend. Yay! Dreams do come true. Alright, let's end that date. Wow. Well, I have to go to the Teen Arcade? <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. What a fantastic time. I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team. Bjorn, how would you like to start working in the adventurer career at Spelunker Level 2 with me right now? It's a great opportunity since it's not an entry level top. Uh, no thank you. Level two? No. <laughs> crystal, crystal. Yeah, let's get this want fulfilled. Talk about a hobby. Okay. What's Mimi doing? Okay. Earned a hundred thousand spoilings. Wow. I wonder how much he earned already. Here, you need to use better. Take a birthday poop. Okay, so he needs to do his homework. Which I am not quite sure. Oh, I think he put it in his room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Okay, do your homework. Glad you got the girlfriend, but you need to do your homework. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's work on that charisma. Oh, Bono, please. Thank you so much for the uh, for the for the raid. Thank you. <laughs> hey, let me. I hope we had a good stream. Hey, let me give you a shout out. I always do this wrong. Shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hope you had a good stream. Beep. Wow. No, same good question. Ah, yeah. Yeah, what? That's a good question. That was a good Girls, you know? Yeah, sure. Land. Man, why you? Well, what? My name's Fire. We're just playing The Sims 2 today. Okay, what is it? You're familiar with The Sims 2. This is uh, the descendants of speakers. Okay, same way, you know? And oh, and the Smiths. Our boy Eddie. He just got. He just got himself a little girlfriend. 
Oh, I'm glad you had a fun stream. How are you? He's dating Crystal now. So I say that's his mom's co-worker's daughter. So I say that his mom set it up. I, that's mom. That that's the, that's the story I'm going with. <laughs> I was playing 911 operator. Oh, that game seems so interesting. I've never played it before. He really wants to go to university. <laughs> You're not old enough yet. Calm down. <laughs> See how he's doing on that skill point. I was going to get that soon. It's fun, though, a little repetitive after all. Oh, I see. Yeah, I could see that. Put the extra burgers away. We need love, Logic to creativity. We're gonna have time for that tonight. Oh, change the channel. Stove last sheen. Okay, so I only have one more day with this family. That was a really good day. We got like a promotion. And you got a girlfriend. I was just playing Sims 2 Strange Town on stream for days ago. Oh my gosh, yay! I love Strange Town. Did he get that point? Yeah, he did. Okay. Get ready for bed. Oh, uh, actually, some calling him. Bye to everybody. Oh my gosh, two clog toilets. Here, go to go away, everybody. Maybe Eddie could try and clog the toilet. Who's he talking to? I don't know that Sam. Alvin. He can try. Okay, let's save for the night. They made a lot of money this round, too. It's actually crazy how much money they made. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna hit a hundred thousand income. It's crazy. Okay. Here, you know what? Don't do that. He's he's better at it. You unplug. Let the dog sneaky. Here, let me just cheat. Not sneaky. There we go. Okay, let's just. Okay, so we only have one more day with them. What? Where's our alarm? <laughs> what? Where's their alarm? Uh oh. Maybe he stole the alarm? <laughs> Hopefully they have a car alarm? Okay, good, yeah. Okay. I think he was going for the car. <laughs> She's 
keep fighting. Doris. Anyone can just walk in. Do not have an alarm at all? I'm gonna have to buy them one. Award. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to put Eddie's money in his bank account. Oh, and we I, I forgot to pay the taxes. Oops. I almost forgot to pay their taxes. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, Deposit. 200. Let's get them an alarm before I forget. Because I will forget again. <laughs> Where can we squeeze one? Cersei. Let's move them to somewhere. There's a shelf up there? Oh, maybe we'll put this upstairs. Yeah. Oh, no, it's covered. Here, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, I have to, uh... Okay, and then taxes. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Okay, so. Donate five thousand. Four. And then five hundred. Sorry. <laughs> I'm making him pay taxes at like three in the morning right after he got robbed. Traumatized. Oh shoot, I put five hundred in his bank account instead of instead of paying the taxes. Alright, let me I guess he keep the five hundred, but let me pay that. Uh donate. Five hundred. Okay. There we go. Charity. Oh, it's already 5 a.m. Everyone's so tired. Let's see. What's everyone's days like today? She has off. He has work. Okay. So just Mimi. Mimi's uh, chilling today. But she can work on all those skills that she's behind on. Okay, let me... Is he stinky? Or is it the bed? No, it's the bed. I get the bed. I'll let them sleep in because that whole thing happened. Wash. Hola. On your bed. On you. Excuse me. We work on first. Uh, maybe logic. Where are those flies? Is it out from here? They're so loud. Maybe it's because of these archways. I feel like things on the 
bottom floor are really loud on the top floor. He doesn't work until 9 p.m. 3 a.m. he gets home. Oh, flip. Okay. I'll just work on that last mechanical point today, too. Thank you for the lurk, PJ. dog okay? Yeah, let's feed the dog. And then mechanical. I could click on it. Oh, I've been clicking on it. <laughs> Alright, I'll just fast forward while they work on their skills. Let's see not doing too great. It's really here. Let me I gotta spray that too. Here, once he gets that point, I'll spray the tree. Uh okay, never mind. Is that his phone? Yeah, it is his phone. He knows a lot of sims that I've never seen before. Hmm. Ah, It's going so slow. Okay. That was quick. Okay, spray this tree and then finish your studying. I'm going to max that skill today. There we go. Got it. Yay. I love maxing skills. I get some Gabby. I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? Is that Loki Beaker? It's his son. <laughs> it's Bjorn. home another friend. Jacinta. Just just Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw I thought I saw that wrong. Do your homework. Okay, how? Just doing okay. Yeah, let's get him out of his pajamas. Maybe we get some food. Look 
Keep up. Keep up. Gonna try and play me desert uberhood. The sword progression. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. Uberhoods with story progression is like the ultimate chaos, like in a good way. Like. When she gets this point, I'm gonna uh, tell her to eat. Custom hoods now available for download. Oh, nice! That's awesome. Where do you put um, your downloads? Okay, let's get that fun up. Oh, Tumblr! I'll give you a follow on Tumblr and I'll check it out. I think I might just have him take off from work tonight. He does have five vacation days. City of Nowhere. Where the where road to nowhere leads, I love that. He's doing pretty good. Maybe I will have him go to work. Maybe I'll get a promotion. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so, but like, maybe. Wants to make a friend? I don't know what to do with Bjorn. He's just chilling before work. Maybe he should take a nap. Oh, he should take a nap because he has a late shift. Story progression made my robot and my human sim have a baby. I'll pretend there was a supermarket daughter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the feature of um, Science Babies in The Sims 4. I always wonder if maybe someone could do something like that in The Sims uh, 2. Okay, let me keep updating the season. I can never get this thing right. All right, back to the grind, Mimi. She needs three logic. Oh boy, three logic and two creativity. There's Science Baby in The Sims 3 too in the future, I think. Oh, really? I never really played that expansion too much. Actually, I don't think I've ever really played it at all. But yeah, you can have a baby with a sim blender or a sperm donation or there's also a surrogate hack, I think. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, oh, I guess you could just use, like, sim, like, mods or whatever. Like, the, the uh, ones that already exist in the game, you know, to, like, have a baby with somebody. True. <laughs> Child and teen plant sim mod. And Inheritance Supernatural. Inheritable Supernatural Sims are my favorite mods. Oh. Yeah, I used I used those before. I was trying to do a challenge where I was uh I tried to have one sim have a, a baby with every supernatural. Have a every a baby of every supernatural in the Sims 2. So I had to use those types of mods. <laughs> Is 
except the robot, I, I guess that's not really supernatural, but, uh, I just had one of the kids. The first, the, the first kid who was not a supernatural had to build a, become a robot builder. <laughs> that was my way around that. <laughs> What is this? Win a gaming competition. You have to go to a lot for that, right? Oh yeah, like the cooking competitions. I always forget those exist. <laughs> Don't do it, Eddie. Don't drink the coffee. Gonna be shaking. <laughs> really wants to tickle him. Okay, I'm <laughs> it's first time drinking caffeine. <laughs> she wants to be your friend. Oh my gosh, put the cup down. Yeah, he's gonna leave soon. He has to get up now. Ah, uh, logic. Yeah, I've been working on that logic. Okay. Oh my gosh, he still has not put that cup down. Please put the cup down. <laughs> that caffeine's really getting to him. Put it down. Look at him. He's shaking. Oh my gosh. She's so patient. Be her friend. He went all the way around the house just to do that. From this chair. She gave up. Well, there goes there goes a potential friendship, I guess. Here, oh, don't flirt with her though. No, stop cleaning. We have a guest. Okay, what are we? What was I doing? Hey. <laughs> really wants to clean that thing. Yeah, let's eat. Oh, there he goes. Cleaning. <laughs> Hang out with your new friend. Okay, I'm gonna have her look at the telescope for now to get her logic up a little bit. Oh gosh, they're gonna take forever. Oh, here, just stop, just stop. Sometimes they talk when they talk, they eat so slow. Just playing video games by yourself now. All she really tried. She really tried to get put a lot of effort, you know. Here, look, he's just joined after he uh uses the bathroom. Join. Interesting spot to pee. I'm trying to see, like, oh, now she's eating. Talk to your new friend. Hey, that was painful. Now she's done. I can't. I'm done. Maybe it's just not meant to be. It's not meant to be friends, maybe. Are you kidding me? Game. Please. Please.
Right, I'm just gonna say goodbye to her. <laughs> He's super tired. Oop. Yeah, she's not gonna get that point. Okay, so... I'll let her look a little bit longer and then we will... Here, let's save for the night. And then uh, I'll let her look out tell us a couple, couple more sim hours and then when Bjorn gets home at three we'll hop to the next family. Okay, bedtime. Okay. This went really well. Hey, here he is. Okay, let's go to the neighborhood and see. So let's update the chart. So they're done with rotation 16. Here, let me fix this so you guys can see it. Maybe not. There we go. Okay, 16. The robot wants to be friends with Pol Polity's Tech. Oh, this scared me from the game. Uh, so cute. Yeah, that is cute. Here, he's not, he's in a relationship now with Crystal. Also, okay, he has money in bank account. So we'll note that. Oh, I guess he rolled this by, but I, he really wasn't attracted to any guys. Let's see. Architecture. Bjorn is in the music career. Let's see anything else we should change? Teen. Okay, all good. Okay, so next would be next is Buck and Kiara, Gladys and Marsha. Okay, I'm gonna do a be right back because oh, voice crack. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna get my coffee. Let's stay four, right? Okay, I forgot to write that down. Uh, yeah, I'll do a be right back, guys. Her patter of her bare feet. <laughs> Where's her school bus? Oh, there it is. I got worried there for a second. All right, off to work. Donkey's coming. Going to finish her homework. Oh, yeah, she did. Let's call her potential friend. Giving you a winky, eh? <laughs> See her memories? Yes, yes. She has the. Ben helped her learn how to study, her birthday party. Oh, thank you, Toxic. Uh, we could say coin coin for the sound of the duck. Oh. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven Sims left that we know of who have the flu. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Not Julian. Because his carpool is good. I think it's your turn to play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pick a, a good flavor. Dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing that one? Yeah, dementia Let's flavor, it. baby. Let's go. <laughs> no. They 
need to care. Oh. Oh, they remembered. Oh. Dang. Grammy. What was that? Um, I set myself on fire. Ah! I don't know what that was. I just wanted to test it out. Oh my god. Oh, really? Yeah, you can have brown sugar to coffee. Oh, nice. Is there a difference? The Jeep is full dismantled. Yes, I am sorry to report that the Jeep is dismantled. I'm sorry. I for Please forgive yeah, me. The dog. <laughs> Heck yeah, I'm waiting for a bitch. The dog's- Oh, look at the dog! It's so cute! Ariel is giving puppy So cute. Thanks for waiting, guys. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Learning to 3D model for my VTuber model. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. As a work on tweaking the animation and actual 3D model. Oh yeah, that's definitely tough if you're making it from scratch. Uh, I have a 3D model. I haven't I haven't debuted it yet. <laughs> I've been wanting to debut it in like VR chat, like a VR chat stream, but my my PC has not been able to handle uh stuff like that lately. So I was kind of thinking of just do do doing it on a normal stream, showing it off on a normal stream. Sorry, I'm sipping my coffee. Okay, so Buck was next. Yeah, Buck. Okay. Tia Turner found Hal 99 while exploring the abandoned warehouse. When she turned him on, she discovered he had been turned off for the past 20 years. Their love and marriage had them chased from Tia's hometown. She Can she and Hal find a home and a community here in nowhere? Or is history doomed to repeat? I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, it sounds like it's right from the game, you know? I love that. Like, it sounds like it fits right into The Sims 2, like, uh, floor, you know? <laughs> I love that. Okay, where the heck did I put Buck? Yeah, so, yeah, I changed the towns around. I tried to make little neighborhoods, but flip his Buck. No. It's Finn. Where's, where's our, where's our friend Buck? Where the heck did I put him? Oh yeah, he's in one of these houses for me. Yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> There's Buck. He's a little he's an old man now. Little Buck is now an old man. That's story from my custom hood. I love that so much. That's awesome. Let me write Buck down. Okay, taxes, hobbies. Let's see if there's any notes from last time. Get a kitten. Okay, we had a note to get a kitten. I think the family wanted a new kitten. Okay, so hold on, let me just write this real quick. Okay. 3 a.m., okay. Oh, what's that? That sounds purple. Yeah, he wanted a kitten, okay. He wants a baby. Buck, no. Buck, no. You have too many babies already. Buck is, uh... He has three kids. He has a grandkid? No, not yet, not yet. He almost... One of his kids is married already. Oh yeah, look, they, she lives with them. Marsha and Gladys. Gladys is their daughter, and Marsha's her wife. They just got married. I had them get married in this house because I didn't, because Kara and Buck are old, and I didn't want them to lose the house. <laughs> okay, let me tell them all to go to bed, and then I'll read that thing. Oh, they're about to woohoo, aren't they? Shoot. Okay, I'll let them woohoo. Uh, okay, I'll just put them in the these beds, whatever. Okay, anyway, I'll just let them do their thing, I guess. Jeff Country, what is there to say about Jeff? He loves many things in life, being a cacti farming tycoon, small breweries, and of course, he adores his girlfriend, Prickly Pear, the bits. <laughs> will he catch on that Prickly's family doesn't like him, or will he continue <laughs> to be oblivious? Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> is it avail is it gonna be available as a uh a subhood? 
Can I add them to my game and put them on story progression? We could see their T in the corner <laughs> of the screen at the beginning of every th stream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, I'll just fast forward while they woohoo. Yeah, they had a cat recently pass away, I think. It will be not yet. Okay, just not yet. Okay. I thinking about maybe. Wait, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. I'm trying to figure out how to fit another double bed in this house. Maybe we get rid of this bathroom and we split this room in half. How old are they? Buck seventy-two. Oh, buck. Oh my gosh, it's six a.m. Here, I'm gonna, uh, since they, since we started at three, usually I pop in the families at, like, around ten. But we, we had to start at three because, uh, you weren't had a late shift. Okay, so, Amanda Jackson has fallen in love after seducing Officer Ricky Law and having his baby. Her release date is in five days. Can Ricky keep the mother of his child's secret until then? Or is his plan doomed to fail? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Let's see, she's a fortune sim. Oh, oh, she she just got back from university. Whoa, she's level 10 at her core. Whoa, look at, what, look at her skills, what the heck? Oh yeah, she was one of my sims that glitched and they have a, uh, oh, not glitched, I think I, I, I did something wrong. She glitched in university and I tried to fix it and a side effect that the fix had was that it made all of her skills maxed out. Ooh. Ricky's afraid, afraid of people finding out. Maya's mom, Maya's mom is afraid for his job, afraid for his love of, Man love of Amanda, afraid of his life crashing down around him. Nepotism on his mom's part may have gotten him where his job was, but his own mistake might lead to his downfall. I love that. She wants to woo woo. Yeah, they didn't, they still don't have a bed. They got married, but they don't have a bed. Okay, I can figure this out. I can do this. I think I'm gonna change one of these child bedrooms into a bathroom, get rid of this bathroom, and then I think we got this. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. Jackson's brother is a cop too, but her brother wants to join the dance job. Aww! <laughs> I love that. Hmm. This room's a little awkward, isn't it? I have an idea. make this whole thing into like a room.
What if we make, just make this like big, a big recreational room? Instead of like a weird, awkward hallway. now. Wait. Doesn't make sense. There's a door here. Here, I just wanna, I'm gonna put a double bed in here to see. Oop. Okay. How can we do this? Chalk, how are you? What if... What if... No, that won't work. Mm. God, you're fine. Watch, as soon as I do this, the one of them is... One of the elders is going to die. <laughs> This door makes it complicated. No, wait. I don't know. It, se it seems like it should work, but it just doesn't. I'm doing well. My cats are doing well, too. Vinny's was really annoying last night. <laughs> he really was mad because I, I was staying up playing video games. And he was mad I was staying up playing video games. And he was punching the blinds, trying to get my attention. And he was like knocking things off the wall. He was so mad that I was playing video games. Who did Jill end up with? Oh, Jill ends up marrying Rip Grunt. Oh, if you want, you can see my family trees. While the, pl while the plum tree is still existing. You can take a peek at everybody. <laughs> and see what happened to them. The outdoor access. I know, that makes it really hard. Maybe I should get rid of that. I don't know if that would help. Then I could. I don't know if that would help. No. This is a toughie. What if we made this bathroom? What if I did this? Wait. What if we did that? Wait. Wait, no. What the heck? Oh, yeah. This doesn't work. Mm. They can't squeeze through here, right? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I can't do this. We'll put this game on level 20,000. Rotate the brown bed. <laughs> uh. 
I can't. This is so hard. <laughs> I know. What the heck? This is so annoying. <laughs> I just can't get it right. There's so much space. How? Why is it not working? I feel like it should work. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. Fucking Jill's really cute in my opinion. Yeah, me too. In my game, Jill and Rip were both romance sims. And for some reason, like when they were both... They were both teenagers for a really short time and they like dated as teenagers and then rip got older and he just really like for some reason like in his be in the beginning of his like adulthood he just did not have any luck with like love even though he was like a romance him and everything but then when she aged up they just immediately got back together i think they saw each other at like a birthday party or something and they just immediately got back together i'm like okay <laughs> i guess they're meant to be and then after that like they both uh, they were in an open relationship and then like rip would have a lot of girlfriends and she would have a lot of boyfriends like flips table yeah i'm about to flip the table why is this not working it seems like it should work my brain just can't comprehend I'm also working on a commission that I thought I could finish hours ago. Yeah, here I am still messing with it. Oh no. <laughs> uh, video games. I give up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. No. Wait, wait, what the heck? Wait, no, wait. No. No! No! <laughs> this game is gonna make me go crazy. <laughs> I keep finding crap to improve. Oh my gosh, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh... <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> this is making me crazy. There's gotta be a way. You can get, they can't squeeze through here, right? Can they? And I can't put this against the wall. Man. Man. <laughs> oh boy. I redid this whole thing for nothing. I know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give up. There's two married couples in here though. That's the problem. There's two married couples living in this house. Ah. I want them to have bubble bed. Remove one of the bathrooms. I did. I move remove this one. And I got rid of this room. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Unless if I make this room really skinny. No, that wouldn't work either. It's fine. It's fine. I give up. It's fine. Fine. You know what? Actually, I like that one better. I, it's fine. I'll just... It's back, I guess. Wow, 
Well, seems like it should work, but do you think if I did this, they could fit? They could squeeze through. Remember the cat tree in the middle of the place? Yes. <laughs> I know, this room's a mess. I, I I just made it like 20 times worse. I don't wanna use this weird wall. my sims 4 walls hmm. Hmm. the void all right whatever I don't know what I'm doing Ooh. I'm thinking too hard whatever okay ah. all right can they squeeze through And they squeeze through. Oh my gosh, it works. Oh my. Oh. Nope. No. Okay, wait. We'll try again. We'll try again. I'll move it a little bit. Get out of the bed. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We'll be really careful. Ooh. Like that. Maybe. Can they squeeze through? Just do it! Make your dreams come true! <sighs> oh, it scared me. I got catch an Oreo. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, they can squeeze that way, but they can't squeeze this way. Okay, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Hold on, I have an idea. So they could squeeze they could squeeze through here. I think. Hold on. I think this is gonna work. Oh, thank you. I hope you're doing well too. <laughs> Scared me. Relax. Oh, she's stuck. She's stuck in that room. My bad. Haha. -ha. Okay. I think that here, let's get this woohoo in because she's been wanting to woohoo anyway. Oh man. I think we got this. Let's do your little woohoo and then we'll see if they could get out. Oh, I forgot to put wallpaper on this wall. Okay. And we'll decorate the room more. I don't know how you do that. I'm confined by the rules of the square foot putting down furniture. Oh, it's uh. Here, I have a. I used a YouTube, a YouTube video taught me about this. I think I have it in here yeah that that video taught me so much i have it ready to go because i wanted oh i wanted someone else work i want to be able to share it with you guys all right we still didn't get that kitten yet yeah no problem okay fuck's gonna work when he comes home we'll get him a kitten he really wants a kitten I'm like neglecting everybody because I'm trying to figure out how to get them. Okay, can she leave? Can can she leave? That's the big question now. Can she leave? Yes, we did it, guys. We did it. Cool. Ah. Okay. Well, first of all, let's change this bed up a little bit because we have like the same. Exact Actually, let's change this one. We have the same exact thing going on. Uh, yeah, okay. And then let's get them something. Here, let me put the square thing back. I don't know if that'll... Actually, maybe that's a bad idea. 
hey how evil witches can raise zombies but good witches can't true resurrect sims mm, yeah that's true all right you know what actually let that thing back <laughs> kind of bug me no actually i want the quarter tile placement one it's that one q and then it's like control something control f yeah i like the quarter one yeah 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 because it still snaps to things okay that's what we'll do squeeze another one not really kind of no not really kind of no me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that <laughs> oh yeah they need a light don't they yes the answer is yes Something on their wall here. Something. <laughs> Where's my snap? Thanks. Snap better. I just want to center it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Wait. No, wait, why'd my snap thing turn off? It's Q, and then Control F. What the heck? Why'd it turn off? I don't get this thing. Here, we'll just use the other one. This one. What the heck? Okay, let me leave and come back. Okay. I can't. I can't. You know what? Forget it. Oh, there we go. There, now it's working. Forget it. Just wanted something kind of cute on the wall, okay? Cute. There. Whatever. Done. Good enough. Good enough. Fine. I'm saving. That was hard, guys. That was really hard. Ah. <laughs> uh. That was flipping hard. <clears throat> we cheated our way. We cheated our way uh, to a solution. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was a toughie. All right, let's stop neglecting the Sims now. Okay, who has work? What's going on today? She's off. She's off. She has work. Okay, she has work at 6 p.m. Okay. Mechanical. She needs a mechanical point. Oh, someone needs to feed the fish. The fish. Let's see if the sim can reach the bedside. They can! I tested it. Thinking of re-adding 3 to 2 trait mod. Mmm. I've been debating on that. I'm not sure if I want that or not. Definitely interested though. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, Gladys is available actually. Where did I put that phone? Oh, it's right there. I should probably move that. That's a bad spot. Okay, what am I doing with this room? Bobo Brains wants a sim to make a booty call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Belly, I think you switched for the follow. How are you, Bobo? I could put this in the corner. Uh, oh, I did put I did put a thing there. Okay. Um, here, I could put this in this corner. That could go in that corner. All right, I forgot it on the snap object thing. I could put this here. This could go here. 
booty call. Should Gladys make a booty call? Since Buck is gone? No, Kiara. No. Wait, no, Gladys is married to Marsha. Okay, wait. Oh, 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 oh. It should be Marsha. She's a romance sim. Got it, got it. I got it. I got this. It's gonna be Marsha. <laughs> Not a call with the boots. I mean, they could wear boots if they want to. She has... Oh, gosh. Marsha Artemis was passing by, and now she's giving birth. Surprise baby, surprise baby. <laughs> what an urge cab just giving birth on our sidewalk. I just realized my heart part's gigantic. Cute baby. Goodbye. I think we just teleported back. Alright, hold on a second. I feel like I'm too big. Okay. That was kind of random. New baby was sent home. Nice. Yeah, that was a story progression baby. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, I'm confused. What were we doing? Booty call. Okay, I have to I have to strategize here. We have to make sure Marsha calls a booty call when no one else is home. She works sometime okay, on Sunday. No, Buck and Kara is gonna are gonna be here on Sunday. There's days where Marsha's schedule is opposite to everyone else. Okay, Monday. On Monday, everyone's going to be at work and Marsha will be home alone. That's when I call her uh hookups over. So I'm gonna write a note. On Monday, we're gonna have a booty call with Marsha. Cause she works at night and everyone else works in the day, but it's the weekend right now. So Buck and Kara, I think that Kara works as an artist. Buck is a teacher. What's going on over here? Um, and then Gladys is an architect. So we will definitely have that booty call. We gotta time it perfectly. Yeah, we had two marshes on the lot at the same time. Next run playing with the newborn. Uh, the Optimus, um, no, that's a story progression family. Buck, the, so we don't play them. Yeah, all, I don't think we play any Optimus. Any of the Optimus kids or anybody how are you liking story progression absolutely love it yeah i love it too i use it for the first four days in every rotation and then uh yeah i love seeing all the little surprises <laughs> i think i might have to turn off alien babies though i'm having too many alien babies let's see the country is not happy with the test scores for children in the neighborhoods throughout the country polls indicate that children just aren't learning at and drastic unorthodox measures should be taken to put the nation's youth back on the right track. Security Buck, no, Secretary Buck, uh, proposes to the government a new curriculum of educational video games. Ideally, he proposes children can learn and have fun at the same time. Two games really stand out, Big Speed Rabbit and The Great Spelling Carrot, and Hunting and the Fishing, Scavenging for Algebra. The budget only allows for one of the games. Which should Buck choose? Okay, the Spelling Game or the Algebra Game? Um, when I was a kid, I liked the learning, I liked the math learning games more than the spelling learning games. I played, I played those learning games on the PC when I was a kid. I'm gonna say algebra. Maybe because I like math better than spelling though. <laughs> Excuse me, I have hiccups. <laughs> Buck always loved the idea. <gasps> Kardashian wants to celebrate yeah. Christmas. Okay, Christmas. Let me write that down so I don't forget. We'll try to summon Santa tonight. <laughs> Yay! Uh, algebra in the great outdoors amongst a running brook or deer trail. So he approves of a copy of Hunting and Fishing Scavenging for Algebra for every child. Buck made the right choice because not only are the algebra scores at all time low... But the country's desire to fish is at an all-time high. Wait, what? 
Scavenging for algebra hits the spot so perfectly that Buck goes ahead and orders the developer's second title. I think I read that wrong. Trapping some fractions. The admis administration is awed by Buck's brilliant handling of the situation and decides to reward him with a bonus of 50,000 simoleons. Wait. Wow. I'm saving. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do their taxes. Ah, okay, I have to uh, subtract that 50000 Let me do their taxes before that 50 he got that 50000 Oopsie. I was looking through my fake cards. I mean, game cards. And thought Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I love doing I love having random uh, Santa, uh, Santa summonings. <laughs> I love it. Okay, taxes. Right, taxes. Whoopsie, my bad. Haha. -ha. Okay. So first of all, we have to calculate the taxes before he got that bonus. I've been so bad at this new rule. Okay. Let me get my calculator. Okay, so... 298,657 minus 50,000 plus 69,845. Okay, so... Their net worth before he got that bonus was 300. I think they. Okay, I keep saying this. Every Sim family that I calculate, I'm like, this has to be my richest family. They have a lot of freaking money. 318,000 simoleons? Dang. Okay, so. Um, so since they're worth over 100,000, it's only a 5%. Okay, so 69,000. Is that right? I'm gonna do that again. That seems really high, doesn't it? Did I do that wrong? 845. Okay, times 0 0.05. Oh, I did do it wrong. Oh, 15,000. Okay. Whew. Okay. Ooh, good thing I double checked. Okay, deduction. Home ownership. Yes, they own their home. 1,000. Deduction for married couples. So there's two married couples living here. So does that... Guys, who who's smart? Who's smart? Who's, who knows about taxes? Do I do that twice then? Because there's two married couples on this lot? If you get the loan drop by Saishan, you can raise taxes. Hmm... I gotta look into that. Let me write that down. I was thinking of raising the uh, bills. I was thinking of do calculating taxes every other rotation ourselves and then also raising the bills. Raise the bills. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get that the loan jar to raise bills. I was thinking about that. I wanted to raise bills next round. So they pay more bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna deduct for both couples. Because technically they're getting two gigantic incomes. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. And then the, they have no dependents. They didn't adopt. And they don't have a business. Okay, so it's 11,000. Let me write this down. 11,900. Okay. Okay, they, they are now the family that is paying the most taxes so far. Okay, taxes. Woohoo! Is there a computer up here? It's too much work for me. I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. But I'm only going to do it every other round. I'm not doing it every round. <laughs> That's too much work for every round. So, 10,000... 1,000 and then 900. Five hundred. Two hundred and then another two hundred. Okay. You should try three to two again. I use trait base. Turn on off. There's a new one. You must put them in a very, the very last folder. Oh. 
Let me write that down. So it's a, it's, I know about the three to two uh, traits, but like there's turns on and off that are based on those new traits now. Little Baby Dill Jr. has a new turn on off system based on traits. Okay. I'm writing that down. Okay. He has so many extra traits. Mm. So does Fway. Uh, when I first when I first looked into those traits, um, they were just like placeholders. Are they still like placeholders? Or do they actually like change the way the Sims do things? You have to download mods. Yeah, I think. Okay, I, I see. I see. Why is there a sim in a rope just walking? Oh, that Marcia! I thought she was outside. <laughs> I'm getting so confused. All right, we'll roll their hobbies tomorrow. I'm a little. That was a lot of math right there. We'll do their hobbies tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, if you go to the original page, she has a list of actual bonds that change her behavior. Oh, okay. I always wasn't sure if I wanted to do that because it seems really complex. <laughs> There's more on Tumblr. Mmm. Giant man, Nico. This thing, this thing, this room. Okay, somebody played a stream boots card to redecorate a room, and they picked the uh, the theme of cats. So we had to pick. I tried to find all the cat items I could and put it in this room, and I gave them like little like paws on the floor. <laughs> it's not. I'll take a snapshot of my folder and put it in your Discord. Oh, thank you. I love cats, but not that much. I had to go all out. It was demanded. The stream loose card told me to do it. <laughs> See? The fortune cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are cat lovers. Buck is gonna actually adopt the kitten as soon as he gets home. They don't have a cat. They did have a cat last round. Their cat passed away. They always they used, they used to have two cats, I think. They both they both got old. See, Buck's been waiting. He wants a kitten. What was their cat's name? Brandy. Allegra. Yeah. <laughs> I have no more cats, but act like they still have one. I know, because they're gonna get one right now. <laughs> They were a little heartbroken, okay? Oh, I forgot to put curtains. My bad. My beanie. Oh no, he's gonna call Adopt the kitten. No, 
Oh, everyone, please don't pile up upstairs, please. One is more girl aspiration, not men. Which one? What are the daughter's main aspiration? Oh, uh... Their daughter's aspiration is fortune. And then her wife is a... Romance sim. Buck and Kiara are both family sims. Oh, because she's into girls. <laughs> True. Exactly. She doesn't want to date men. Does she? I don't think so. Is there one with a name? Doofus, lazy, friendly, cowardly. Let's get one who is uh, in the middle here. Aggressive. Honestly, lazy, lazy and doofus isn't that bad. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, it's the girl cat kitten. Think of a name. Yeah, I think she's only attracted to women. Oh, yeah, uh, Christmas tonight. Wait. Or can I squeeze that Christmas tree? We have to make the Christmas cookies. I think I can squeeze it in here. blocking the thing but I don't care okay who's good at cooking she can make it is it too early to make Christmas cookies yeah I think so ah uh, cannoli oh I love it cannoli Oops, someone knocked that over I don't usually go out of my way to have some celebrate, so this is the fun second hand experience. Yeah, I always forget. That's why I made that card, because I think it's fun and cute. But I always forget about it. Cannoli. I put the tree up. Or uh, or decor, but I have to take it down in a day. Oh my gosh, why is cannoli like in the world like that? Cannoli! Who's grabbing cannoli? Anybody? Oh, Gladys. All right, I'm gonna make the cookies. Can Buck make cookies? Maybe possibly. I don't think so. Cans of cookies. Okay. house family in the neighborhood where it's always winter might work that's true <gasps> can only know no only the Christmas tree makes the span spawn almost sure you need other items uh i think that we just need the cookies and the tree and then everyone needs to be in bed before nine i think that's what the rules are just making the cookies right now i could see her yeah there we go don't buddy eat the cookies those are for santa okay let me grab you and put you in the house okay there's food there a bed for the cat we should put a bed over here because the cat can't go upstairs yet where's the cat bed yeah right here let's move this down be 
you think this the sound from the radio will go through these rooms? Oh, it's for cooking the Christmas roast. Guys, go to bed. This is really important. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. This is important. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I always do it wrong. Go to bed, Santa's coming. I think we made it. I don't know, we'll see. Do I have to turn the tree on? Tap at the crunch. Tap at the why bring cannoli upstairs? Cannoli needs to stay downstairs. What do you do with tap at the Only down. I feel like she's gonna eat cannoli. <laughs> the werewolf. <laughs> yeah, everyone fake sleep now. Exactly. Can I turn on the Christmas tree? It's too late. I forgot to turn it on. No, give cannoli back. <laughs> give give cannoli back. Cannoli. Did that help? I don't know. Cannoli, you okay, bud? Cannoli? Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think that perhaps. I forgot to turn on the Christmas tree. Is it 10 that they have to be in bed by? Oh, cannoli. <laughs> Can holy. Cannoli. Like this. Cannol cannoli. Yeah, it's a food. <laughs> I think that I forgot to turn on the Christmas tree, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's only day one. We still have two more days to try to get to summon Santa. Also, maybe I didn't I didn't leave this close enough. Maybe I need to leave the these closer. Canolio. <laughs> I love that. Oh well. Cat holy ah. I always summon Santa incorrectly. The ritual needs to be perfect. Who like to turn on the tree, huh? I can only eat the food. Okay, anyway, let's save for the night. That was day one. There's a mod that you can instantly summon Santa. It's a plate of cookies. Mm. All right, we'll see how bad I am at it <laughs> this time. And then uh, if I'm if I do not summon Santa, I'll get the mod <laughs> for next time. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget about that booty call. Monday's the booty call day. Yeah, cannoli can sleep. Good, good, good. Okay, five o'clock. Wake up. Okay, you guys can eat the, the Santa cookies now. He didn't come. I just realized the only way to get into their bedroom is the bathroom. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so weird. I just realized that. 
Oh no, I didn't think of that. I could fix it. I could fix it. I have an idea. Wait. No, wait. Would that work? Bye. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it for now. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. It's it's working for now. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> uh, try to add the horn. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Why not? They got enough room. Uh. Uh. No, I think I missed it. Maybe it's in here? Yeah, there it is. Right? A cornucopia. Hi, Ron. How are you? This is, um, Buck Grunt. Buck Grunt. This is his family. He's a little, he's an old, old book grunts an old man now. Oh yeah, you were right, Trug. I'm trying to summon Santa. It didn't work. We're on day two now. I'm trying to summon Santa. Old book grunt. Yeah. <laughs> do get if he doesn't come we do get to eat santa cookies for breakfast so i mean that is a plus <laughs> the word's so strange yeah was miscellaneous <laughs> see buck is a cat lover he loves cat buck should get dressed though It's broken. Maybe you should try to repair that. Need to throw a party for him to come. It works for me. What kind of party? I always make pet buck open up a pet shop. Oh, oh, it's because he wants to be a vet. Oh, oh. Santa not spawned? Yeah, Santa didn't come. I think that I forgot to turn on the Christmas tree. I think that's what the problem was. I always do something wrong. But he always comes eventually. I always get him eventually. The new year, then the baby new year will be there too. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, Santa fail. Don't lose hope, guys. I got this. I can do it. I never get it on the first try, but he always comes eventually. Today. Today is Sunday. Fucking Kara have cloth. Is that Gladys' car pool? Gladys is going to work right now. Marsha is going to work tonight. Tomorrow, everyone has to work, but Marsha works at night. So we're going to do that booty call. But when everyone's at work, we're going to do that booty call. Did he marry Jill Smith? He married um, Kiara, who was a townie. 
Oh, oh if you want, I have a uh, family tree so you can take a peek at. <laughs> All right, get everyone out of their pajamas here. Yeah. Okay, and Marsha was, uh, Marsha married Gladys. Gladys is Buck and Kiara's daughter. She went to university and met Marsha there, and now they are married. So she was a dormy, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was a dormy. How are we doing on skills? Oh, she needs a mechanical. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, let's see if there's any of these things we could give them. Nope. <laughs> I just realized this room probably makes their skills go up super fast. Because they have this thing, and then they also have this five of these, right? Doesn't that make it like... Don't these both make skills go up faster? I thought they were hooing again. <laughs> like, calm down, guys. <laughs> yeah, she got. Whoa. That was fast. Look at it. Wait, guys, this room is like. OP. Jeez. Look at that. This is crazy. Wait. This room is crazy. Dang. They had a gingerbread house? <laughs> I think I could. I think I could squeeze one on here. Can I? Oh my gosh. They have the bookcase, but then also, I think this makes it, if you have five of these, it makes it, uh, your skills go up faster. Also. I don't think I could have room for the gingerbread house. It's food. And holy. There's a shelf for the gingerbread. Oh yeah, wait, I do have a shelf. Maybe there's room on this shelf. Hold on. Great. <laughs> I forgot those were there. Is it in here or is it in the other one? Maybe it's a sculpture. It would have to be extra large one. Oh, it's a big item. Okay, here, let me see. Maybe I could put it on the table if I move this. Ah, wait, it does fit on the shelf. It's so cute, it's so flipping cute. Heck yeah. Never found the mystery that unhide the souvenir item. Memory, so no spoil. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. If you get five of uh, the souvenir items from different places, they all have different perks. <laughs> Apparently, that's true. According to Sims Wiki, it seems a bit odd to me. You need only Asian souvenirs, not the ones from different worlds. Yeah, because the different the ones from different worlds do other things, which I'm not going to spoil for Trog. <laughs> A new. 
Oh no, I already have to stop streaming soon. Okay, after the same day, I'm gonna uh head off. A new contract presents Gladys with her boldest challenge yet, planning the layout of an entire city. After a lot of thinking, she has a solid idea for a modern city that would work not wow, but work that would not wow. Jeez, I can't read today, but at least please the customers. However, last night Gladys had a dream of completely different design. It was experimental and groundbreaking, but will anyone like it? Will she what plan should Gladys follow? Okay, I did not comprehend anything I just read. I read everything wrong. I, my brain was not there. <laughs> Safe design or go with the dream? I don't know. Go with the dream, Gladys. Shoot for, shoot for the stars. No one wants to be bored with the same old design over and over again. City planning is all about having a vision. So this is the time to go big. Gladys starts taking and building a mental image of the city that's absolutely unique, environmentally friendly, and highly productive. The board is quickly captivated and buys the vision right away. Gladys is given a huge corner of 50000 Another 50000 for this family? I'm saving right now. Holy moly, guys. This family's out of control. Yeah, I got two 50000 bonuses. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I should play the lottery today, right? Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm just kidding. I never play the lottery, but might as well try. If my Sims are having good luck, who knows? Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, so at the end of this empty, I'm going to hop off, but I'm going to write you guys that there's a giveaway today for random scene code. Explanation point enter in the chat to enter. So we will save the booty call for next time. Oh, Let me write that down. But we will try to summon Santa tonight. Booty call for Marsha. Look at her flying through the skill. She's crazy. This is crazy. This room is crazy. Oh. She's gonna max the skill out. <laughs> yeah, they are winners. The family is a winner. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kardashian. Thank you. I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire next week. Yes, I will. I will do the booty call. It's the perfect opportunity. I, mar mar on weekdays, Marsha is home alone and she's a romance sim, so it's gonna work out. I wanna live there in this house, in the cat room, where your skills go up super fast. This room's kind of a vibe, I don't know. Maybe not a good vibe. What a vibe. Mm, kind of a good vibe, maybe. If you like cats. I like cats. I've never been in a room surrounded by cat stuff. I don't know. I feel like it kind of could be a vibe. I don't know. What am I talking about? I'm trying to imagine what it's like to like physically be in this room. Like all these cat-like statues staring at you. Look at her go. She's gonna max it. Okay, let's put the rest of the cookies away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Do you think that, do you guys think that maybe Santa didn't come because Marsha wasn't sleeping? But she was at work, so I think that shouldn't count, right? I thought there was a hot tub back there. That back here is kind of a mess. <laughs> all this random stuff. Santa doesn't give gifts to workers. That'd be crazy. I know, right? If they're working the night shift. Because they're not sleeping. Can you show me the item description of the souvenir shop? Sure. Oh, they also have all these. Okay. It's called Show Me Off Rack of Glory. I think it came with um, Bon Voyage. For, specifically for the souvenirs. And they are on their vacations. Oh wait, actually, 
<laughs> Literally none of them. <laughs> Never mind. Who is that? Minion. Back again after checking out your strange out family trees. Oh, yay! <laughs> uh. That's, that's, uh, what's her face? That's Tabitha? That's Tabitha. There's Buck. There's his three kids. Buck and Gladys. And one of their cats. Oh, wait. That's Gladys. That's Kiara. I always get them mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, she looks like a Gladys. I feel like she's, she, she has Gladys vibes to me. I don't know. No, oh, yeah, Nervous adopted the nuisance. Yeah. He had a, his uh, lifetime, like, wish or whatever was to, like, marry off six kids or something like that. And I'm like, I know six children. <laughs> I know six kids. Nah. <laughs> They did not all get married, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to cancel that. Did you play with Cat and the Critter Family too from Pets? I have them in my game, but they're on story progression. All the families I don't play, I put them in houses, and then uh, the first four days of each round, I let story progression do whatever with them. Is Marsha available to talk? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Kim family, too. Yes, they are also in... Um... Where are they? I think they live in Blue Water Village. You should check in with Story Progression family to see how they're doing. Yeah, I always do that. Uh, I do off stream actually. I probably should. I probably. I don't know if you guys would want to peek in with me. Mm, no, thank you. No magazine, please. I always check on them. I want to. I just like to take a peek and see what's going on. And then also, I like to change some of their outfits when they age up. I have 47 households in my Uberhood, but I only play 20 of them. Yeah, I have, uh, here, actually I could show you guys. These are all the families that we play. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we have university and retirement home. So that's like, that's like about 20. And then these are the story progression families. I have not updated this in a round or two, I think, but yeah. I have all these downtown, all these families living downtown, and then we have Pleasant View families, and then we have Blue Water Village families. Oh, and then we have one family in Strange Town. These are all them. I'm hoping our families will start merging with the, uh, I really want them to start interacting more with the Pleasant View families. <laughs> yeah, I have not, I have not updated this. Oh, yeah, and if you guys ever, uh, sometimes I had your guys' families too and stuff. Okay. I thought 47 was all. <laughs> I have to count. I don't know how many there are. So I have just downtown, Blue Water Village, and Pleasant View. <laughs> All my hoods are from pet stories, life stories, so I didn't make any of them. Mm. I like that. I like it when uh, when you add things that are like proper inspired by like other Sims games. That's why I always do like conversions and stuff like downloads or like mods that are like based on other things. I love that. Based on other games. Oh, it's Bella. Who was that? Is that Marsha? Yes, that was Marsha. Okay, let's start getting ready for Santa. Okay. Maybe it's a little early, but I don't care. What the 
make a group meal. Santa cookies. Stop dancing. No more dancing. I'll turn on the lights this time. Curtain costing two hundred fifty. Okay. Don't touch those cookies. Can I put them closer? No. Okay. All right, and then we'll go to bed really early. At like seven thirty, we'll go to bed. We'll turn on the lights. Turn on the Christmas lights. Go to bed. Marsha is not available. Alright, turn that baby on. Oh, I didn't roll their hoppies either. I'll write I'll write a note next time too. Also we'll uh Not that it's super important. I don't take the hobby super, super serious, but it, I, I like to have something. So, like, if they have a day off and they're all caught up in their skills, I'm like, what, what would they, what would the sim do? You know what I mean? I like to have, like, a backup. <laughs> something fun for them to do. All right, everyone, go to bed early, early. Turn the light on. Oh, it is on. Nice. There's a trick-or-treat mod so everyone can go celebrate Halloween. Highly recommended. Oh, that sounds so cute. This, these stairs lead to nowhere, I just realized. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the fire escape, guys, right? <laughs> Alright, guys, sleep. That's right. They get candy bucket. Where they get a plate of candy. Oh, that's cute! Someone even turned off the radio. Oh, I dropped my pencil. Santa. Come on. It's a nice decoration. That sounds adorable. <laughs> Don't get over how many new mods are coming out after 19 years. I know, right? It's so cool. I was gonna add that pizza. Somebody, somebody converted the new pizza. Oh, what do you call it? A little pizza oven from The Sims 4, and then someone else put all the pizzas from The Sims 4 into The Sims 2 that you can make in the pizza oven. I really want it. I didn't get it yet, though. I downloaded it, but then I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted it. <laughs> I'm always afraid to add food. I'm always afraid to add food to my game because you can't you can't delete food after you add it to your game. Yeah, most of the Sims 4 packs have been converted. That's awesome. People are still making so many mods. I know. I love it so much. I love that. All right. I think 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is the time. I think Marsha might be the one. If, if Santa doesn't come, I'm convinced that it's Marsha. Marsha's the problem. But she is not sleeping. She is at work. But I think... Oop, I clicked away from my game. <laughs> Where'd my game go? Okay. 
don't add food made before 2020. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Why is that? Their old cheese are the ones who keep giving us amazing CC mods. I have ideas, but people make... I'm kind of like, yeah, I know, right? You can't delete food. You just have to go through everyone's memories and simply and delete any instance of them learning how to cook. Like that dish is so hard. <laughs> I'm so scared. I may have added some old food to my game. Hee <laughs> hee. It's not hard. Oh, okay. It sounds hard. <laughs> I'm always afraid of doing some simpy stuff. You can delete memories with the memory manipulator in the game. I wonder if there's a way to just prevent cooking memories altogether. So that you don't have to worry about that. Because I don't know, I don't, I don't know how cooking memories, uh, I mean, learning how to cook memories affect the game. I get it in The Sims 4 because that learning recipes, oh, and The Sims 3 is like a really big deal in the game because you, but in this game, it's like you uh, automatically unlock recipes when you level up your cooking skill. So. Simpy you could do every family in less than an hour. Oh, okay. Guys, Santa didn't come. I think it's Marsha. I think Marsha's the problem. Only some food had memory attached. Oh, really? Okay. I think that Marsha is the reason Santa's not coming. Maybe I will get that mod. Here, let's see. Santa mod. So it's not fair for families who have someone working a night shift. Santa just never comes over. That's the only thing I could think of because I think we did everything right this time. Okay, let's save for the night. Actually, let's wait for Marsha to come home first before we save. Here, let me... Gladys woke up. Gladys, were you the one? Gladys... Yay, grilled cheese was learned when my fourth child was born. <laughs> uh, but if you burn food, it always leaves memory. Yeah, burning food, definitely. I, I noticed that. I have to remember every mess up. <laughs> it's kind of true, though. You, like, cringe at that time. I'm like, oh. Don't allow memory in my game. That memory. Oh, boiling oil, no trash memory. See, customize which memory shop. Oh. I don't mind the burning one. But, uh. I wonder if it's attached to the food. Would you have to delete the burned memory also? Of a food that you want to get rid of in your game? Here, let me fast forward. Let's just wait for Marsha to come home. Also, guys, I'm going to end the stream and I'm going to end... When Marsha comes home, we're just going to save and end the green... Well, all... I'm going to end this way. Okay. Uh, video editor, level 7. Nice. Okay, let's save... Last chance to enter the giveaway, guys. I finished one enter in the chat. Um, so that was day two. So they have two days left. We will continue them next week. Uh, I don't think we need to update anything for them here. Yeah, we didn't do their hobby. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the giveaway, guys. These are the games that I have to give away. One of these games could be yours. I just enter in the chat. Not sure if the burn food has the actual food in it. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Better safe than sorry. So Jackie93 food is totally safe to download. Shouldn't throw errors. Oh, really? I'm going to write that down. Bring memories annoying that they gossip about it. <laughs> it is annoying. I don't mind my sim having the memory, but like, I don't, I don't like it when it like affects them. <laughs> you know, like their day-to-day -day life. I'll thank you, Kardashian. You too. All the food mods are copied off of mac and cheese and throw out. Mmm, I see. Mmm. Oh, I don't love gossip because Kardashian. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. There's so many things. All right, guys, I'm going to end the giveaway. <laughs> if I could find the tab. All right, guys, I'm ending the giveaway in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Giveaway's closed. The winner is. Kardashian, congrats. Okay, ready? I'm going to spin it. Ooh. The 
Our World's Spacer's Choice Edition. Okay, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look on the list for that one, and if you want to re-roll, you can uh, redeem the thing to re-roll with champ points. I'm gonna look on the list. Let's see where is this one. Found it. Okay, I'm gonna send it over. <laughs> if I could find you on my list. There you are. Okay. Congrats. Okie dokie. Let's see. Delete that off of my list. Delete this off of this list. <laughs> so we don't give it away. There we go. All right, guys, we're down to 22 Steam codes, guys. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna hop off. Let me see what time it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I gotta get going. I don't have time for a read today. Guys, thank you so much for hanging today. Uh, hopefully, I'll see... Maybe I'll see you guys this week. I'll definitely see you guys on Sunday. Uh, you can always hang in Discord. I'm... Yeah. But, guys, have a good, good rest of your day. Bye, guys.